Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1-800-808-5548. And we're back. <laughs> People Boy. just kind of flowing here, flowing there, everywhere. It's like you know, party. That, that's part of it right here. You know, we party in the mornings. That's right. That's right. So... Uh, <clears throat> Why don't you uh, introduce our next guest, since you are the one responsible for bringing on. If he's not any good, you're still responsible for bringing him on. I, I it was a last minute. Just ran into him in county. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of time in here. And on... we, we shared a, an apple, and uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> could, could we expound on that a little bit? <laughs> no, no. I, to, actually, I've known Terry for, for many, many years now. Uh, we... we Shared a stage together back in uh, our church musician days together. That's how we met. And, uh, uh, you know, normally they, they keep the, the keyboard guy on one side of the stage and the guitar player on the other side. There's a lot of fighting. It's kind of like Crips and Bloods and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but we got along really well. And, and uh, Terry is a phenomenal guy and owns a, a, a wonderful insurance company. I've always had a lot of respect for him and... and uh, he he's one of the people that I believe gets the concept of of givers gain and and uh, um, coming to offer rather than coming to take and uh, that's kind of a vague thing but anyway uh, uh, for those who know re- understood what I was referencing there Terry Green uh, tell us a little bit about your company and, and who you are okay well thanks Joe thanks for letting me have, uh, be on the show uh, we're basically an insurance uh, agency. The actual legal name is Green Insurance Services LLC, but I go by Portraits of Motion Insurance, which is the weirdest insurance name on the planet. Here, and the, here. And the reason that people <laughs> ask me all the I, time, I would concur, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, the reason is you go to a networking thing and you say, what do you do? You say, I do insurance, and people understand that as I've got the bubonic plague and I want to inflict you with it. They don't. Yes. They, so, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some uh, calculus formulas. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason is that really what I do in life is I energize people with a picture of a better tomorrow. And when bad things happen and they, people need the insurance, that's what they need. They need somebody that knows how to move them forward. And that's I looked right. at uh, the biggest, one of the biggest computer and uh, uh, smartphone companies is named after a fruit, Apple, which makes no sense. So that's why we went for the the, uh, the weird name, but it describes what we do. There you go. And, and and when the phone call comes in at 3 in the morning, you don't need a president to answer the line. Uh, <laughs> you need an insurance guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's one thing I was going to Because chances are you probably need that more than the president. <laughs> Who are you? I don't, what are you? I don't need you. <laughs> and that's one thing I tell people. The most important thing in insurance is having an agent and make sure you've got their cell phone number. Because yep. when the bad thing happens, it's not going to happen between 9 and 5. Yeah. And if you get a recording and, and start pressing buttons, fire them. You need somebody that's going to respond when you got an emergency. That's what we do. I like that. We answer that all the phone all the time. That was pretty That was pretty uh, direct there. He was just, fire them. <laughs> 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 you know, he, he's right, though. You know, one of the things we've gotten to in society – in fact, in fact, we had a conversation about this in the office the other day is too many people want to try to automate those processes. And let me tell you, I was talking to somebody the other day. You know, if I call someplace and I got a voicemail, I go, operator, operator, operator. Yeah. And if I don't get the operator, I'm going to hang up. You start I, I doing that massive Z, you know, uh, zero, you know, <laughs> yeah. dee, 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 dee. Yes, yes. <laughs> about 45 so, times I get a human. Right, right. So, you know, <laughs> the, the fact you can call somebody and reach somebody, reach you, right. reach some member of your staff, that is a huge difference in making business happen. And more importantly, it's, it's, that, uh, it's that security you have whenever you're insurance, insuring something that is very near and dear to your heart. A lot of times your home, your automobile, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. That, I, I, I can't, under, I can't uh, say how great that is. I mean, I'm, literally for me, uh, if it's a website and they don't have a telephone number, and they're, or, or if, uh, even an email, they just have a form on their website for you to fill in, Done. I'm not doing business with them. If I call them on the phone and get the voicemail system and it's a loop, it's one of those constant you can't get to a human being no matter how hard you try right. voicemail systems. Yeah. Depressing the zero just sends you back to the main menu kind of a thing. Not doing business with them. Emergencies only between nine and five. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. Ridiculous. And even then it's a challenge. Even though there's there are companies out there that are like, hey, I don't care if it is nine to five. We don't want to talk to you. 
<laughs> they exist. Yeah. They're out there quite a bit. So Joe, Joe threatened to write a book called uh, "Please Take My Money," which talks about people who are in a service industry and refuse to take your money. They they actually they, fight you on doing business with them. It's like, yes, it's like it's kind of like a, a filtering process. If you can make it through their their uh, you know trials, they will take your money. Well, well, <laughs> so it's um, great that you actually actually answer the phone, Terry. Not all insurances are equal, so. You know what's the big? I know the big print giveth and the small print taketh away. And so, <laughs> uh, uh, one of the things I I always like to ask is, you know, there's uh, A plus rated companies, A minus, and there's a lot of different kinds of coverages out there. And you're not, you know, if you just go for price, what might you miss? Well, the one thing before I was what was called a, a captive agent, which I've always been independent, but I had a contract with one major carrier. For two years, I've been independent, so now I'm dealing on home with about 12 different companies. And to be honest, here's what I've discovered. When you call those companies and you do finally get through, you're going to talk to a human being, and really most of them are nice as far as you don't need to pay for the name. And you said A-rated companies, that's what you want, and that's all we deal with. If you've got the most popular kid in school who's got an A plus, and you've got some other kid that doesn't, that no one knows he's got an A plus. Who has the better grade? It's the A. So you don't need. There's really, to be honest, not a lot of difference between the companies. If they're A rated, they've got the money. And once again, it's your agent that's going to make things happen because yeah. all of them, they, they're they're people. But co- big corporations, you need an agent to push things yeah. through. And that's what we do. And, and a real estate transaction, you know, everyone's pretty cost sensitive for the most part. And what are the what are the downfalls if you're going for just like the cheapest? What what's going to be missed? Well, once again, they've they've got to be uh, a rated. Right now, the rates in Houston, unfortunately, are some of the highest in the the country. Right. Unfortunately, I get people all the time uh, uh, referral sources that say it needs to be such and such. When I started the business, there were about 80 companies that wrote home insurance. Right now, there's about 15. And the ones that have stayed, uh, they're very selective. So it is getting in tougher. Uh, but basically, once again, that the agent is so important because insurance is very complex for most people. Get with the agent that's going to take the time to not give you a, uh, a cookie-cutter approach, but to assess your needs and make sure – uh, that you're getting what you uh, need. Yeah, I, 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 I tell you what, too, just to, to toss in on that, it, the the agent. I cannot under uh, under or cannot stress enough uh, the importance of the agent being a on uh, on your side uh, because there's so many factors that affect uh, the rates, and and I see this a lot in my industry on the credit side. Um, that uh, on auto insurance, you know, the difference of a good credit score and a bad credit score. Absolutely impacts your rates. Well, he got your plug in there, didn't you? He? Mean credit, <laughs> you mean credit impacts rates? <laughs> yeah. What a concept. I had no yes, idea. Uh, but not to, not to talk about the credit side of it, but to talk about the insurance side of it, uh, it a good agent, knowing that you've got uh, uh, an agent who is continually looking at, you could be with a company and you would think, I've had no accidents, I've been with this company for a long time, my record with them is improving, yet the rate will go up. Just arbitrarily go up on you, and if you don't have an agent who is actually looking for that stuff and and saying, "Hey, the same A product over here is less expensive." Well, I'll, I'll comment on that. This is beyond car insurance. They went up. I had a, a company that I deal with, and they I have never no accidents. They do auto debit out of my account, so it's never late, and they kept going up and up. I found out if you call them, they will reassess it. But you got to be proactive, and the same thing would probably be true is. Probably once a year, people should sit down with you and relook at what their insurance needs are. You know, I just did a, a policy yesterday for a, a good friend, another client on a com- uh, do commercial insurance, and his home was about four thousand dollars with his other carrier, and we got him great coverage with an A rated company, about fifteen hundred dollars. Oh and my! We really now. I can't guarantee that every time. You're that I, today. Guarantee you, Terry Green. You know, will <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but the real this. Uh, we are saving people two thousand, three thousand, seven hundred dollars. Can't do it every time, but what we do is we look at different companies, and some companies are going to have that rate. 
if it does go up, now being independent, we can go to another company. And, you know, that's that, that was kind of more my point. Rob, you was right in that I can be proactive and call the company. And all. I don't want to have to be aware of, okay, was this the month that my home insurance is, is renewing? And, you know, did they go up on my – I want to I – I, like, I like to know that my agent is doing that for me. Uh, you know, I like getting a phone call uh, that says, hey, by the way, your insurance was going to renew and it was going up. Uh, $30 a month, but I went ahead and shopped you around, and, and I was able to reduce that, actually. You're going to pay $14 less a month. I'm like, I love you. I'll, I, where, where, you know, where do I send the donuts? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I always like to talk about coverages. I remember a house I sold a long time ago, and it was to a young attorney, and um, he had probably some of the polybutyl type of pipes underneath the house. It was back in the, you know, built back in the uh, probably mid to late 60s. And of course, that that pipe basically had dissolved, and the earth was being acting as the plumbing system. And so he makes an insurance claim, and all of a sudden, the insurance company says, "No, we're we're not going to cover that." So, talk about coverages. I mean, there's some things that may not necessarily be covered in some policies, and and, uh, and, and that goes back to the old HOA and HOB type policies. Yeah, and that's I, I guess right. that's probably where I want to go is what right. what what. Uh, what are you recommending? Because those are some things, especially if your house is built in the 60s, that can occur. And, you know, you need to know, am I covered? Or am I? That's all we really want to know. We want, you know, some sort of transparency. Does this, is this covered? He right. did get covered eventually because he was an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Let him know as you start the claim yes, process. But by the way, I'm an attorney, and you know it's not going to cost me anything to litigate. Yeah. But I, we don't want to insur- uh, sue our insurance company. We just want to understand what's covered. Right. And so uh, talk, talk about what Chris was just talking about, the HOA, okay. HOB. Okay, HOA, HOB. Unfortunately, the policies are written in a complex matter. So once again, get, get an agent that can speak to you in uh, kindergarten In layman's English. terms, yes. I sit down. I've got uh, two clients that are both attorneys. They've got a double master's. And I, I broke it down, and she said, thank you for speaking to me like I was in kindergarten. That's what I found. I don't need to impress people with how it, No, we're not. But the HOA, HOB, the difference is, for example, uh, on water leaks. An HOA, if you have a sudden and accidental uh, accident, that's going to be covered. If it was a slow leak, let's say over five months, you didn't have it inspected, and then you got damaged, the HOA will not cover that. The HOB will. So if it's maybe it's three hundred dollars more to have the HOB, you got to say, do I want to pay three hundred dollars a year just in case I have a slow leak? That's that's well, the well big you know, difference. underneath the slab right. though, they had to excavate. So you're talking about a six thousand dollar repair, which right. could be you know take kind of mess up some people's budgets. Right. right. And <laughs> once again, when they talk about the uh, foundation coverage, that means the money to go in and break the foundation down uh, to get to the repair. That's what it means. It doesn't cover, unfortunately, it doesn't cover uh, everything. And, and again, I just I, I just like to know what's covered, and I don't I don't want, sometimes you know I I'm a deer in the headlight when it comes to insurance. It's like yeah. you know, right. t- Tell me, and so that's very helpful to know that stuff. But I think people want to hear. Yeah, and a lot of times I think it comes down to what they call named and not named perils. Is that correct? Right now, most of the thing with the on the practical level. You want your fire, theft, wind, hail, hurricane. As far as you know, uh, Pluto falling on the planet's probably not going to uh, happen. <laughs> but there's coverage for that, right? <laughs> there's coverage for that. Yeah, I always ask people, do you want the Pluto coverage? <laughs> you know, speaking of Pluto coverage, though, guess what we're coming up against right now? Break. Got to pay for the show. We have oh. to pay for the show. How do we time? get a hold of you, Terry? 832-445-8492. Go to Facebook, Portraits of Motion Insurance. It's amazing how many prospects and clients get me on Facebook. But those two things, and once again, we do answer the phone. We answer it quicker, and we answer it better than anybody else. Portraits of Motion on Facebook. Portraits of Motion Insurance. You know, we're still going to have a lot more to go. We have 15 more minutes coming up. We have the whole gang still in here, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. And oh, what you do to me. I'm like an ocean wave that's...